Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Sayyidina wa Nabina Muhammad. Habibi Rabbil Alameen. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'een. Wa tabi'een lahum bi ihsanin wa hudan. Alhamdulillah. We have been looking at some of the hadiths of our beloved Messenger وسلم, on healing hearts or softening hearts. These are hadith of the raqa'iq, of the things that soften hearts. And in the previous gathering, we looked at the Prophet وسلم, mentioned mentioning that it is not by Allah it is not poverty that I fear for you but rather what I fear for you is for this world to become expansive for you and tubsat alaykum dunya kama busitat ala man kana qablakum just as it was made expansive for those before you fatanafasuha kama fatunafisuha kama tanafasuha so you will vie for it as they vied for it. وَتُهْلِكَكُمْ كَمَا أَهْلَكَتْهُمْ So, and it would destroy you as it destroyed them. Destroy you in what? Destroy you in your ultimate good. Right? In your ultimate standing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we looked at the explanation of that. Related to that, and on that same theme, is the next hadith which is also related by both Bukhari and Muslim on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu annahu qal anna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal Allahumma ja'al rizqa ali muhammadin quta from the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that he would say O oh Allah make the provision of the folk of Muhammad sufficiency Right? And the qut literally refers to that which gives you basic strength. Right? It is your it is what sustains you to have the strength to do what you need to do. Right? So they, they, the ulama explained the qut here religiously would mean that which gives you the strength by which you can obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And can fulfill your worldly needs, right? Meaning sufficiency. And it's come in another narration, kifafa, that which is enough, right? That you seek that which is enough for you, in what sense? Not just in a minimal sense, that which is enough for you to fulfill the attainment of ultimate good, which is the good in the next life, and the good aims you have in this life. And that is, um, you know, all that which will be a means, ultimately, or in this world, of pursuing good, seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereby. And that is the way of the Prophet Allahumma ja'al rizqa ali muhammadin quta. O Allah, make the provision of the folk of Muhammad sufficiency. Right? And this the Prophet ﷺ was making dua for his own family, but as the hadith commentators explain, it the al it also refers to the followers of the Prophet ﷺ and those beloved to him, right? The true followers of the Prophet ﷺ, right? This is what we should be seeking. That any increase we seek in worldly matters should be for an increase we seek in some good with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we'll look at just one more hadith on Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu ta'ala anhum anhu qal qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qad aflaha man aslama wa ruziqa kafafan wa qanna'ahu allahu bima atahu 
in a hadith related by Imam Muslim from Abdullah, from Abdullah ibn Amr that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu said Felicitous is one who has submitted and been provided sufficiency and whom Allah has granted contentment with what he has given. So three qualities. Qad aflaha, meaning successful indeed, is one. Man aslam, one who has submitted. And this doesn't just mean become Muslim, but meaning that one has made the conscious commitment now to be in a state of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because there's the Islam that makes you enter amongst those who have committed to submit to Allah, but then is the willful submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you choose. What's your way in life? I have chosen to be, to submit to the command of Allah. Man aslama wa ruziqa kafafan, and who has been provided sufficiency. Right? And the third quality, وَقَنَّعَهُ اللَّهُ بِمَا أَتَاهُ And Allah makes them content with what He has given them. And Allah makes them content with what He has given them. Right? Which is an important quality. That it, the nature of the human being is that we always want more. The Prophet said, if the, the, the human being had an entire valley full of gold, they would be avid to have two valleys full of gold. Okay. But rather, the believer is content. They see what they have as being a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one is content with it. Which does not preclude seeking increase. But what the increase the believer seeks is out of gratitude. The shukr. And that the one who gave you what you have can give you more. But you seek it with good intent. That's the difference between the seeking an increase of the believer and of the heedless person. The believer is content and grateful and when they seek the increase, they seek it purposefully, not just for its own self. Right? The, the, this idea of takathur, of just amassing wealth, is very blameworthy. al takathur. You've been busied away from mere amassing. Right? So this is, these are three qualities of people whom the Prophet ﷺ said are truly successful. They submit to Allah. They surrender themselves to Allah. And they've been granted sufficiency. And they are content with all that Allah grants them. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us these qualities and to make us of those who always look to the one who truly submitted, the beloved messenger saw him. In any state, the, the state of perfect submission is the state and conduct of the Prophet And who was content with whatever he had. And even when he dipped dry leftover bread in leftover vinegar, he said, Ni'mal idamul khal. What a wonderful sauce is Vinegar. Even though what was left over, you couldn't really call it vinegar. It's all the cloudy stuff at the bottom. But he dipped the dry bread in it and he smiled. Right? He was content. Right? And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us these qualities. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama tasliman kathira. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org donate and make a small monthly commitment today.